Hello everybody. Hello. Uh, good afternoon everyone or rather good morning or even good evening to everyone out there wherever you are in the world. This is Dr. Didi coming to you live and with lots of love. Vitamin D coming into your living room or your bedroom or even your study room. Okay. How is everyone? How is everyone? Okay. Are you receiving me loud and clear? Okay. If you are, if you are, can you see me? Okay. Uh, I just want you to say hello. Hello to me, just to make sure that you are receiving this well. Okay, uh, I've seen, uh, okay, first of all, a little bit of shout out, okay? First of all, Ahmad Zakrisham, who is soon? Hello. Hello. Uh, good um, afternoon, everyone. And then oh, Min, okay, I, I see Min. Alright, let me see. Okay, and then after that, Joyce, Joyce Tay. Hello, Joyce Tay. Alright, um, how is everyone? How is everyone? What are you doing right now? I know the Muslims are actually fasting. Alright, and uh, I know the rest of you, have you had your lunch already? Alright, very nice. Okay, today we are going to talk about food. Alright, food, glorious food. Okay, so lots of things. Okay, every time, uh, you know, uh, okay, the last time, uh, last week on Thursday, alright, I actually exercised with you guys. So tomorrow, remember, 4.30pm tomorrow, I am going to exercise again with you. Alright, but today, it's going to be really special because we're going to have a nutrition segment. Because I think, okay, if we exercise or even if uh, we don't exercise on certain days and all that, what do we do with our food? I think, uh, you know, uh, knowledge of food is very, very important, right? Okay, so today, I'm trying to share all the tips, okay, all the shortcut tips so that everybody will be well and not only well but looking good and awesome and perform okay the performance will go up in terms of your daily functions okay all right so everyone okay i want you to uh, just take a look at this okay my name is dr dd mahmoud all right i'm uh, i'm your exercise physiologist and your nutritionist all right are you are you receiving this clear can you actually see um you know uh, the um uh, oh, I see so many people here. Hi, hi, okay. Uh, just drop me a line and say hello, okay? So I know you're receiving me well. Uh, can you see the, the thing clearly on the on the board right now? Okay, if you can't, just let me know, okay? Because I am, uh, you know, this is a little bit on my Wi-Fi. I'm trying to see whether, you know, uh, you are receiving, uh, you know, good and all that, okay? All right, hang on. Yeah, let me get into position right now, okay? All right. Uh, all right, hang on, okay. I'm just going to go behind the camera and see what you are uh, watching right now, just to make sure that you are receiving me loud and clear, okay? Oh, hold on. All right, now this is uh, I'm... okay, very well done, okay. All right, everybody, uh, okay, we are going to start right now, okay. Now, uh all right, but first of all, okay, remember today is going to be uh, how nutrition improves your body immunity. All right, uh, we are talking about food, okay. Uh, when we live, we need to eat food, okay. If we can't, if we don't eat uh, proper food, enough food, adequate food, uh, your daily functions will be affected, right? Okay, and of course, you know, sometimes if you eat too much food, and then after that, your daily functions will be affected too as well. Because, you know, in terms of uh, medical conditions, maybe, you know, you overeat a certain food, food group or something. And then after that, you end up with uh, lots of organ dysfunctioning in that sense, okay? Like uh, in terms of diabetes and all that, okay? So, uh, we are going to look at, you know, all the food groups and all that. And how, what is the best way, all right, to eat your food and how to eat it, you know, in terms of um, how... Uh, when to eat it, what kind of food is good for you, uh, what about the demographics of uh, people, okay? Oh yeah, talking about that, I'm going to talk uh, both in English and Malay, okay, kepada uh, semua uh, di luar sana, selamat, uh, selamat berpuasa, salam Ramadan kepada semua yang sedang menonton DD sekarang, okay, vitamin D, okay, membawa matahari ke dalam bilik anda, okay? Alright, before that, I would like to uh, highlight to you guys, okay, this morning I was on Bernama TV, Correspondent Bernama TV, alright, I was talking about exercise, uh, peri pentingnya senaman dalam hidup kita, okay, so uh, take a look at the Facebook, at my Facebook, I actually gave you a link to uh, Correspondent Bernama TV, okay, just take a look at that, alright, number one, I want to give a shout out also to Radio Melayu Perth, 
all right, uh, who's tuning in right now all the way from Perth, okay? So we don't only have uh, people from Singapore, they're from the Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia, Australia, dan juga di London, dan di Amerika juga saya tahu, ya? Okay, so selamat datang kepada semua. Okay, salam Ramadan kepada semua dan kita terus, okay, uh, apa tu, terus kita cakap tentang pemakanan, okay? Alright, everybody, we're going to start right here. Alright, I hope you guys uh, have your pen and uh, pens, uh, pencil or, or pen or even your handphone and then okay, just take notes wherever you think is, uh, is good, okay? Alright, so, alright, first of all, okay, very important, I want you to look at this uh, definition, yeah, definition of health. Look at this. Alright, you see, eh, uh, bila kita tanya apa itu kesihatan, what is health? A lot of people say, um, oh, health is like, you know, if I don't fall sick, right? Okay, that's correct. But that's not all. Uh, it is also, you see, physical. Okay, that means you you are not injured, right? That means you're not sick. Uh, and then after that, it, uh, you know, incapacitate you, okay? Maksudnya, kalau kesihatan ini daripada segi semua, physical, okay? Physical, uh, daripada segi mental, and then social, okay, everything, the total well-being, overall, holistic well-being, right? And then not merely the absence of disease or infirmity, okay? Maksudnya, bukan uh, bila you tak sakit, okay, maksudnya you sihat. Bukan saja itu, eh, tapi kita nak tengok sama ada you boleh berfungsi, okay? Ataupun mungkin uh, you ada depression, so maybe you're not healthy, you see? So, the thing is that, you know, it has to be merangkumi semua, eh? it has to be a fully, okay, holistic thing. Physical, mental, and social, and every single thing. Okay, so that's health. And if you notice that this is the definition by the World Health Organization, you know, World Health Organization in 1948. All right, and it still stands true, you know, right now. See, ah, okay, 1948, nih, yeah. All right, so the definition is still true until today. All right, so okay, so now we are clear about what is healthy. Ah, apa itu kesihatan? Okay, kita mesti uh, clear pasal tu, eh. Okay, now when we talk about kesihatan, of course, nowadays is, you know, people, we are staying at home, PKP, untuk orang-orang Malaysia, uh, Singapore is circuit breaker, alright, wherever you are in the world, we know that, you know, most of everybody, in fact, except the essential workers, right, okay, most of everybody, we are encouraged to stay at home, okay, stay at home, don't go anywhere, you uh, you must be safe, alright, in order to uh, lawan, okay, uh, all this penyakit and all that, you need to stay at home, kena uh, berada di rumah. Okay, these are the things, okay, that is helping your body to fight, you know. That means these are the things, okay, this is your immune system that helps your body uh, to not get sick, alright. And again, okay, these are very important, you see, eh? example, we think about the skin, okay. Your skin is the first line of defense, alright, first line of defense. So, dear, you know, uh, when, when uh, there's, let's say, uh, dust, okay, uh, ataupun germs, Ataupun when you fall, right? Kalau misalnya you jatuh, tiba-tiba ada luka. You know, when you have cut. Okay, and then you have, you know, things that enters and then it became in, uh, infected, right? So, the thing is that you know, your skin is actually the first line of defense. Alright? It protects you. But if you have a break, alright? Example, I'll give you an example. You have to take care of your skin. Especially, you need to moisturize. Okay, that's one of the things I need to highlight to everybody. Especially, if you have diabetes, alright? We always uh, are encouraged to look after our our uh, our our feet right okay so you need to moisturize your your body okay supaya dia tak kering okay uh, that means in other words you have to uh, put your lotion your moisturizing lotion so that you don't have breaks in the skin when it's dry it's easy to uh, have a tear in the skin right so that's the first thing okay of course that's that's a little bit uh, you know on the overall taking care of the skin Right, so that's the first thing. That's your first line of defense, right? So we don't want to have breaks in the skin because it's easier for uh, germs, okay, for dust and particles and all that to get into our body, right? And then after that, you notice, right, we have all the mucous membranes. What's mucous membranes? If you notice, right, uh, when we go outside, okay, um, when we go outside and then after that, we tend to, you know, bring in a lot of dust, maybe, right? Or maybe some pollution. And then suddenly you feel that your nose are dripping, you know? Okay, that's the mucous membranes. Okay, giving out the mucus. Kadang-kadang macam kita rasa, oh mak, ada ingus lah kan. Uh, sebenarnya itu adalah mucus membrane uh, yang protect. Okay, uh, that means in other words, is uh, uh, giving out all this, you know, uh, army. 
uh, to fight all these uh, germs and bacteria and virus and everything, okay, so that we become safe, alright. So, what happens is that when we're talking about immune system, okay, uh, ketahanan tubuh terhadap penyakit, eh, immunity, maksudnya, these are all the cells in your body, okay, the white blood cells in the body that's being produced. Okay, uh, saya ambil contoh, I give you an example. Say, maybe when we walk, walk, walk and then we had a fall, and what happens, we have a cut, right, and then after that, you notice all the blood oozing up. Right? And then after a while, when you put a little bit of pressure, okay, kita tekan kat, kat tempat yang luka tadi tu, okay, kali tiba-tiba nanti dia akan berhenti kan, that's the blood clot lah. Alright? Uh, of course, whenever you have, uh, you know, a uh, luka eh, uh, whenever you have a, a cut, you have to stop the bleeding. Yeah? Uh, it's going to be very dangerous. It keeps on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Alright? So, you have to stop by using pressure. Then what happens to the place? Okay? For instance, like that. Okay, let's say stop already. And what happens? And suddenly you feel, wow, this area here like a little bit hot. Huh? Right, a little bit warm. And then why? Because it's all the blood, blood, uh, you know, the blood vessels sending the blood to the surface. Okay, and what happens in the blood? Okay, it contains white blood cells that help you fight, 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 fight. They're like me. Alright, fight, 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 fight. All these, uh, you know, uh, foreign particles. Okay, so these are your, your white blood cells that help you to fight and all that, you see. So all these things, you know, all these things are very, very important, okay, uh, for you to take care of. Because, number one, if you're sick, if you notice, right, you're sick, your immunity is down, alright, sometimes your sickness can go for a prolonged period of time. Lama nak baik, okay, kerana ketahanan tubuh terhadap penyakit agak rendah, yeah. So these are the things that you need to take care of. So how do you take care of this, alright? Number one, okay, look at this. Hygiene. Ah, have you had your bath already? Have you had your shower? Nak mandi belum? Ni kopek lah, tak mandi. Ni bau busuk. <laughs> okay, kena mandi, okay? Alright, you have to keep clean. Alright, and then now with the COVID-19, alright, we need to wash our hands carefully, isn't it? And then they said, how to, how long do you wash your hands? Okay, they said, uh, sing a birthday song. Ah, sing a birthday songs. Okay, so maybe you you have a, a slightly longer remix birthday song lah. Alright, so you, there, there's seven, seven ways of uh, washing your hands, alright? So they said, what? Palm to palm. Follow me. Come, hurry up together. Alright, okay? Palm to palm. And then between fingers. Alright, we use soap lah. Ataupun we can also use sanitizer, yeah? And then after that, the back of the hands. See? And then after the base of the thumb. Ah, the base of the thumb. Eh? These are the things that we forget, you know? And then the back of the fingers. Back of the fingers. Okay, back of the fingers. And then, ah, fingernails. Now, how many of us last time when we wash, we actually do this? We don't do this, right? Yeah, you see, so it's very, very important because dirt, all right? And then, of course, germs and all that goes underneath your your your, your fingernails, yeah? And then, after that, your wrist, all right? And then, after that, your rinse and wipe dry. Okay, you can do this, all right, uh, with your sanitizer or uh, if you have your, your soap, yeah? All right, so first, hygiene is very important. Remember COVID, they say how, how to, to take care of yourself? Alright, uh, to make sure that, you know, uh, to hopefully you don't get COVID, is to be clean. Hygiene, okay, you, you must be hygienic, yeah? And then you must take your bath, you must uh, take your shower. Okay, another thing is that, uh, you know, when we actually think about uh, washing our hair, I know some of you, okay, if you, uh, are you washing your hair daily? Alright, maybe if you if you have oily hair and all that, okay, go and wash your hair daily. Alright, if you have like dry hair or something, but still wash your hair. Just make sure that, you know, uh, maybe put your conditioner or something like that, you know. So, the thing is that these are the things that sometimes we take for granted, yeah. Macam dulu bila kita keluar luar, kan, bila kita keluar kat luar, bila balik rumah je, uh, dah, kita duduk je atas, atas, uh, atas, uh, apa tu, uh, tengok TV, dah. Okay, but right, right now, it is advisable for you if you are from outside, Alright, sometimes when you walk around outside, right, you tend to touch railing. And remember what they said about, you know, the, the, the virus, COVID-19? You know, sometimes it will be present in, in hard surfaces, in railings and all that for days on end. So, if you happen to touch it, then it goes, and then you touch your eyes and all that, and then that will actually hurt, hurt you, okay? Because even though, okay, your eyes has this, uh, you know, um, uh, tear duct, that actually, you know, when, when something foreign cup goes into it and then after that, it kind of like, you tear it up. You macam rasa ma macam menangis, macam pedih gitu kan. That is your, again, your immunity system coming into effect. But again, if the immunity system is taking care of us, we have to take care of our immunity system, make it stronger, right? Ah, see, again, if our army is fighting for us, that means it's the army, the white blood cells in the body and all that, right? Fighting for us, 
Okay, we have to make our army strong. Ah, that's what we are doing today. Okay, so again, look at this. This is a cute, cute. Okay, this I guess is you, right? Okay, this is you, right? <laughs> okay, this is you taking your bath. All right, now let me see. Ah, okay, there you go. Ah, I see so many people. I just want to say hello. Okay, everybody. Uh, Julie Rockefeller Forever. Uh, Ayanan. Ah, Aniza Lazim. Ah, Abang J. Abang J. Abang J. Abang Jari. Last year, you know, we were with uh, Walking Football for Health. We were in London, but this year we are in Singapore. Wait, right? inshallah. Next year we we go somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Captain Sida. Alright. Uh, right. Nora. Nora Hakim. Uh, An An Siti Rohani Jaffa. Wow, so many people with us right now. Okay, all right. So again, all right. I I'm sure all of you have already taken your bath, right? And then again, for the Muslims, I know when you saw that, okay, when you do your prayers, you actually uh, do do your your uh, you know uh, wash yourselves, right? Uh, with the wudu and all that, you know. So that really helps as well, right? So remember, take your shower hygiene. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, another thing is uh, this is the three prom. Okay, we'll be talking about taking care of our immunity. All right, uh, we're thinking of also about physical activity, about nutrition. Today, I'm going to talk about nutrition and then the psychology, how we think, how we respond to things. All right, how we respond about staying at home during COVID-19. You know, uh, are you depressed? If you're depressed, if you're stressed out, okay, that will lower down your immunity. All right, now, uh, the next, um, the next uh, week or so, all right, I'm going to talk about physical activity, about exercise and psychology. This uh, uh, for, for exercise. Exercise helps, okay? When we talk about nutrition, it helps to look after your body in terms of increasing your immunity. But, okay, uh, physical activity helps you overall, all right? Not only uh, for uh, to improve your immunity, it helps you in your performance daily. So you become much healthier, okay? And then you can perform much, much better. If you notice, I right here, you know, health, fitness performance right health fitness performance continuum all right so when you are taking care of your exercise and then when you are taking care of what you eat and then also you taking care of your mental all right all these will actually come together and help you to increase your immunity you need to have a strong immunity in order for you to fight all the diseases or in fact to make you healthier so that you don't get any sickness or if you have medical conditions okay uh, that means you are stronger to get well from it all right or another thing is that you don't get worse from your medical condition okay like high, high blood pressure like diabetes gout and all that yeah okay so look at this ah nampak tak ni okay uh, this is <laughs> okay about about uh, belt we are talking about belt okay about belt ah uh, you know, when we are younger, our belt ngam-ngam, eh? Ngam-ngam dekat, okay, dekat, dekat, dekat bawah pusat lah, kan? Okay, that's why sometimes, you know, when, when, when we are younger, right, we can actually tindih kat pusat, eh? Okay, so it's out there. And then, after, when you are a little bit older, alright, you notice that, alamak, your, your belt goes up lah. Alah, uh, itu apa tu, uh, tali pinggang tu dah ternaik pula. Ah, jadi, bila you, uh, 50 tahun kot, okay? Uh, dan terus dan berterusan eh, oh mak makin tinggi macam jadi pak makun pula kan Alright, so you see, so what happens to this one? This is about weight management If you don't look after your food, if you don't exercise well If you are very very highly stressed, you don't sleep and all that Okay, your weight, okay, is being affected And that also affects your immunity level, yeah Okay, so again, uh, can can you see? Can you see, I I think, uh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm the, uh I'm losing myself in the in the frame. I'm losing my myself in the frame. Okay, there you go. Alright, can you see me? Alright, I'm losing myself in the frame. Alright. Ah, CTM. Rohaini Saini. Okay. Uh, Mas Yahi. Okay, bubu. Okay, and then uh, Za. Za, apa khabar? Tak kerja ke hari ni? Uh, Alright. Balagot. Uh, Alright, hello. Alright. Ah. Siti Amina. Okay, hi. Hi, girl. Okay. So, uh, I know you can see me. Alright, can you see me? Yeah. Okay, very well done. Okay. So, now, I'm going to uh, go to the next slide. Alright. This is very important, okay, uh, for you to take note of. Okay, if you want to take a, a photo of it. Alright, uh, take, uh, take a photo of it. Uh, these are the numbers that you need to look at. Okay, in terms of weight management. Alright, in terms of weight management. Alright, 
Now again, okay, uh, they say, okay, uh, okay, scientific research has shown that, okay, uh, scientific research has shown that, okay, the waist girth is very important, okay. If your waist is uh, rounder, bigger, okay, then your bottom part here, all right, that means, uh, especially for men, you have a higher risk of uh, heart attack, you know, so you have to be very, very careful with that, okay. All right, so, um, okay, so I want you to take all this and everyone, I want you to take your, your weight. Take your weight every Monday, all right, take your, your girth measurements every Monday, all right, and then after that, weigh yourself and, uh, you know, uh, measure yourself every Monday, all right. So that, that will be, if you don't measure yourself, if you don't weigh yourself, sometimes you kind of like, you know, you, you're not aware that you're letting yourself go, no? Sekali, tiba-tiba, eh, bila datang raya, ataupun when the end of the CB, right, or the end of PKP, eh, suddenly you notice, eh, alamak, bulatnya aku. <laughs> Tertakut, eh? Okay. Have you been putting on weight or losing weight or just nice? Maintain, maintain. Jawab. Okay. Alright. Are you, are you, are you putting on weight right now or not? Or are you just, just nice, nice, ngam, ngam? Alright. If you are a little bit worried about your weight, alright, everyone, Okay, uh, tomorrow, 4.30 p.m., we are going to exercise together, right? Together. All right, wait, wait, let me see. Did I mention someone's name wrong just now? Oh, Balagu Aurora, that's correct. Hi, Nihan. Okay, no, hi, Nisaini. Okay, Kamaria Wanjuso, hello. How are you? Okay, thank you for tuning in, everyone. All right, okay, so the next one. Okay, look at this. All right, very easy. I know uh, some of you are um, actually uh, doing your... Um, Okay, doing your, your, your fasting, right? Actually doing your fasting. Of course, uh, now I'm going to give you uh, pointers on how to eat during fasting, uh, when you iftar or when you saho and all that, okay? Now, this one, okay. Number one, okay, if you're not fasting or if you're fasting, listen to this, okay? Listen to this, okay? All right. Number one, I want you to look at this. This is a plate where you divide it by three, and then it contains, you know, your, uh, the first uh, one third, okay, over here, all right, uh, the first, actually, it's, uh, it's divided by four, actually, right? So, it's actually uh, one quarter of the quadrant, you fill it with either your rice, your noodles, your bread, yeah, okay? And that one must be complex carbohydrate, meaning it must be, okay, biji bijiran, okay, uh, things like oats, okay? And then, after that, whole grain, whole meal, okay, that is a... Uh, w, the W word is very, very important, okay, people? Alright, so, okay, uh, alright, hang on a while, okay, just take a look at this. Alright, everyone, okay, so, okay, very important that you fill this one with the uh, with the uh, complex carbohydrate. Now, they said, okay, like, uh, things like sugar, like white sugar. I hope you're not using a lot of white sugar because that's really uh, very harmful to health, all right? Uh, I think uh, even in America, and I think uh, coming on in Singapore, you know, things that's very high in sugar, it will have a higher tax, you know? So, I think, I think the government is uh, discouraging most of everyone to actually not, uh, you know, have too high intake of, you know, just a pure white sugar, you know. So, be very careful with that, okay. And most of the uh, medical conditions, okay, uh, stem from uh, too much sugar in the body, which the body uh, cannot uh, process until the insulin breakdown. That's why, you you know, people will get diabetes, okay. So, be very careful with that. Alright, this one is your meat alternatives. That means your, your protein, okay. Carbohydrate is for energy, Okay, uh, meat and uh, meat and other alternatives and protein alternatives means your your poultry, okay, uh, ayam, ikan, yeah, all this, yeah, and then uh, ayam, ikan, lagi apa, uh, ite, yeah, turkey, yeah, all these things is over here. You need this for repair of your body cells, you know, and then remember immunity. We need our army to repair itself, okay, our immune system to repair itself so that it becomes stronger. Ah, see? And then after that, this one, if you notice, it's like half, right? It's actually two half. Okay, this one, fruits and vegetables. Okay, fruit and vegetables, ni semua kan, dia have very high content of water as well. So, that's really, really good. And then, you know, you choose healthier oil. Okay, guys, okay, boys and girls and kakak-kakak, maci-maci, uh, adik-adik, alright? Uh, dan ni, 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 semua. Siapa yang masak kan, sekejap lagi nanti nak masak kan? Uh, so, 
remember okay uh, the best time to actually change okay uh, or rather uh, be healthier for the family is actually during ramadan tak uh, okay walaupun okay macam some people say Allah tak tak kalau tak boleh makan tu tak boleh makan ni okay i, I wouldn't go as strict because i think again uh, it is heavy right so change one thing at a time yeah so what will happen is all right uh, what you need to do is that maybe you can change your oil Okay, olive oil is really good, you know, so, you know, think about it. Okay, once you change even to olive oil, it will make a lot of changes, okay, uh, to your health as well, yeah? Okay, now, look at this. As I said just now, okay, fat is for body functions. There are some uh, vitamins that needs uh, body, good fat. Okay, good fat like omega-3, omega-6 coming from, uh, you know, your, your fish, alright? So, these are, you know, what you need, your, your protein for repair, your carbohydrates for energy and fuel, lah. Okay, it's like a car. If you don't have your carbohydrate, all right, that's where uh, you will feel very tired easily. And again, everyone, when you are fasting also, you just need also the complex carbohydrate. You do need it, okay? Because you need to perform your, your solar and all that, okay? And then your fat for your body functions for your vitamins, okay? Vitamins A, D, E, and K, okay, survives on fat, good fats for the body. So if you don't have enough fat for the body, all right, uh, that, the, the, the performance of those vitamins will be affected. Okay, all right. Now, very easy. Okay, uh, people ask me whether, okay, whether, um, um, okay, whether if I if I'm fasting and whether if I'm not fasting, will I eat the same way? Okay, my answer is very simple. Okay, uh, okay, the best diet is actually your healthy diet. You know, actually, all right. That's how it keeps your body healthy and your immune system functioning well. All right. So, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? Okay, uh, let's talk about calories, everyone. Okay, for women, we're going to do 1,500 to 1,800 calories. And for men, it's going to be 1,008 to 2,500. It depends on how health, uh, how active you are. Alright, okay. And then again, if you're a little bit sedentary or if you're older, right, sometimes you need lesser calories. But remember, do not go below 1,200 calories because that's roughly, uh, generally, uh, the, the metabolism rate, okay? You you tak nak kacau. You don't want to dis disturb the metabolism rate of your body because it will go into uh, a, a very uh, lembab, okay? That means it will start burning your, uh, bringing down your metabolism rate, okay? So, we don't want to do that. We don't want to kacau the metabolism rate. Okay, another thing is this, guys, okay? Uh, when you are fasting, do you eat 1,005 for women? I'm talking about women. Huh? Okay, do you eat 1,005 to 1,008, everyone? Uh, or do you uh, still follow for men 1,008 to 2,500 calories daily? The answer is yes, okay? When you are fasting, okay, make sure that you follow the calories. That means, in other words, all right, although, okay, actually by right, you are not eating in the daytime, but you're actually also eating three times a day, right? So, you have your saho in the morning and then you have your iftar later and then at night you eat some more right so those three times so in order to get your body healthy and to function well you have to eat at least three or four times a day and eat within the calorie limit all right and then eat the way i i i, I was uh, you know advising you just now all right and then remember okay they say eat eat about five portions of vegetables a day make sure that at every uh, step of the way when you're eating make sure there's vegetables fruits and vegetables because we know vitamin c is really very very important for the body all right for those of you who's not getting your enough vitamin c all right this uh you know something that uh, my favorite actually is effervescent that means you put uh feast okay you put into your water and then after that you go all right and then after that you drink it. it's so refreshing right so you can do that all right uh now another thing is you know um uh, make sure you have your vitamins in your fruits and vegetables and then you need your uh you need to 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 make sure that you have enough fiber so you don't have constipation and all that right and then eat your base meals remember they said base meals must be complex carbohydrates lah. okay your even pasta there's even uh complex uh pasta right that means your whole grain pasta and then again you have to take your yogurt all right your your milk all right these are all calcium okay uh vitamin d okay and then even eggs your eggs your fish you know all this, these are, you know, choose unsaturated oils and then they said to eat, uh, to drink about 8 to 12 glasses of water a day, okay? That one is very basic, the things that you have to build your um, nutrition around, okay? Now, I want you to, to uh, take a look at this, food preparation, okay? Alright, when you, when you, when, okay, again, there's a, a, a few ways that you can look at, okay, this, alright? Healthy way of cooking will be steaming, your boiling, your, your grilling, kan? 
and then even your roasting roasting without milk that is here and then after you have to remember with this right when we're talking about immunity you have to be very careful about food preparation wash your meat thoroughly if you want to cook them and then after you have to wash all your fruits and vegetables before eating although you eat them raw you have to wash them sometimes they are you know pesticides and all that okay so you have to wash them and then uh, make sure that when you eat your fish okay those that's lower in mercury okay so things like you know uh, you have to be um of course of course fish is really white white meat which is really good because you know if you compare to uh you know red meat you know red meat sometimes have saturated fat in it and all that so white meat uh, just like your chicken you know of course chicken no no skin yeah no skin yeah because a lot of the fats goes under the skin so the best part of the chicken is the breast which is really good all right now Okay, another thing, kakak-kakak, uh, adik-adik, if you're preparing your food, kalau misalnya tengah potong-potong, uh, ada orang dia potong bread, ya, dia nak potong bread ni, nak nak, nak buka puasa, nak uh, potong uh, roti. Tapi kadang-kadang dia pakai papan yang sama, yang dia potong benda-benda uh, uh, ikan dan sebagainya kat situ. Uh, try not to, okay, everyone separate your raw and cooked food. Okay, kalau ada raw food, okay, ini... Uh, nak tempat potong dia okey ini uh, yang yang apa tu yang mungkin uh, apa tu roti tempat potong roti lain ataupun tempat potong daging lain eh jangan samakan okey uh, because that are cross contamination nanti okey nanti kadang-kadang toxic for the body ya yeah? and then of, of course you know if uh, another thing is that jangan dedahkan makanan kepada angin macam gitu kan selalunya okeylah uh, dalam dalam Islam kan kita tak digalakkan kan untuk dedahkan makanan macam itu kalau boleh kita tutup ya yeah? and then another thing is that you have to put into your fridge alright keep it under cool okay and then after that uh, keep hot food above 140 degrees and then after that, cold food below 40 degrees okay to prevent bacteria growth that's why sometimes if you go to the uh, to the hotel okay to to um, you know uh, when, when you go to the hotel and then when you when you actually order your food sometimes they will put there okay uh, that uh, you actually uh, need to eat before a certain time right even food delivery sometimes they will say you need to eat before say maybe two three hours uh, but after that you have to throw the food you know so it's very very important use variety of herbs and spices okay herbs and spices very very important okay because okay herbs and spices add the taste so don't put in too much um, uh, you know uh, salt or too much sugar all right and then another thing is that avoid package uh, ataupun uh, processed food okay because that's really a lot of bahan awet okay to keep the food preserved they put a lot of sugar a lot of uh, salt which is very 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 uh, harmful to the body especially right so be careful with that all right so again uh, these are the top 15 okay the clean 15 i would call Alright, these are the things that has low pesticide. Okay, low pesticide. Okay, uh, your onions, your sweet corn and all that ini yang agak-agak rendah uh, kandungan uh, pesticide. Eh. Kadang-kadang macam dia nak, nak, nak matikan uh, apa tu, ulat-ulat dan sebagainya kan. Kadang-kadang dia pakai ubat-ubatan kan uh, untuk spray kan. Yang ini uh, the clean 15. So, these are really good. So, uh, your pineapples, okay, avocado is really good, uh, you know, good fat for you. Alright, uh, lagi satu mangoes, my favorite, uh, my favorite ni mangoes, yeah. And then after that, uh, your sweet potatoes. Okay, everybody, if you uh, have diabetes, alright, ataupun you want to, you know, make sure that you you are having your uh, good, uh, good, uh, sometimes some people like potatoes and sweet potatoes and all that, right? So if you boil your sweet potatoes, uh, for, for those diabetic, uh, diabetic people out there, it's much more friendlier to your body, okay? So uh, try uh, um, boil sweet potatoes. Okay, instead of uh, say maybe um, grilled sweet potatoes or something, just uh, take a boiled one, yeah? Okay, so, okay, that one has something to do with, uh, you know, it slows down the sugar rush, you know, that we get from our carbohydrates, yeah? Alright, so again, look at this. Alright, best, best immunity, okay, if you notice, it comes from a lot of citrus food. Okay, uh, macam, uh, okay, uh, your oranges, your lemon, yeah? All, all this food. And then again, okay, garlic, okay, uh, they say, wow, garlic eh, uh, selalunya dry, uh, normally they say garlic eh, uh, Dracula very afraid of the garlic eh, okay lah, I think so lah, okay, <laughs> okay, so this is really good uh, immunity boosting food, yeah, papaya, kiwi, alright, and then after your almonds, okay, everybody, if you like a snack, okay, have your almonds, okay, about uh, 10 snacks, 10 pieces of almond, uh, 10 uh, BG almond, yeah, and then your spinach, that's why they said, Okay, Popeye the sailor man. Okay, dia puat kan? Okay, kerana dia makan 
spinach yeah all right so uh, i want to say hello to everyone okay uh, jamalia ah datin datin jamalia sarifa tam say hello girl all right uh, let me see okay are you are you watching this okay uh, let me see uh, okay uh, sham ah Ah, Shams, uh, you're watching this. Sumiko, hello. Sumiko, Sharina, hello. Hugs the babies, okay. Uh, what say go? Rahma Beautiful is watching too. Uh, yum, yum. Okay. Uh, no, Mariam is watching. I'm, I'm saying hello to you guys, okay. I hope you're watching this and taking some notes. Okay, another thing is that egg, all right. Uh, egg is really good, okay. Apart from, uh, you know, good protein, okay. Uh, it, it's really very good for energy, uh, um, for uh, recovery protein, okay. Recovery uh, muscle, okay, for your body and all that. So, these are really food that you need to put into your daily diet, yeah. Okay, look at this, everyone. Okay. Uh, okay. You need to eat this. Look at this. You need to eat this. Phoenix duck. Tili Fera. Okay, say it again. Phoenix Dactili Fera. Okay, yang ini kena makan. Ah, yang ini kena makan hari-hari. Ah, apa tu eh? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Phoenix Dactili Fera. What is that? Oh gosh, okay. Nah, this is it. Ah. That is uh, the, the, the scientific name for korma. Okay, uh, for those of you who's fasting, this is what we buka puasa with, right? And then, of course, pagi-pagi, kadang-kadang bila makan oats tu, kita makan uh, korma pun bagus tau. Okay, kerana, okay, it contains, uh, okay, uh, lots of fiber. Okay, especially uh, for all of us, okay, we need to take care of our, uh, supaya kita also, this, this one is anti-constipation. Maksudnya, kalau misalnya nak pergi, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Okay, tak adalah macam sembelit dan sebagainya eh. So, the thing is that you need to take this daily. This is really good for you. Alright, now, uh, you know, uh, one of it, uh, one of it will have about 8 grams of fiber. So, uh, actually, you need about, maybe about 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. Alright, so, make sure, alright, that you actually uh, take your uh, korma. Yeah, okay. Alright, then, next one. Okay. You know, all through the ages, okay, bila kita muda sampai lah kita uh, lanjut eh, usia kita kepada warga emas, okay. Uh, our body, okay, uh, needs to be immune as well, right? Especially untuk orang-orang yang uh, dah uh, berumur eh, umur uh, 40-an tahun ke atas, 50-an tahun ke atas, ya. Yeah? Uh, satunya, okay, masalahnya ialah kadang-kadang uh, their absorption level in the body dah mula menurun. Eh, jadi, uh, they, they, they tend to fall sick very easily. So, make sure, especially for older folks, okay, give them the extra vitamin C. Supplement them with the extra vitamin C, alright, because it is very, very important. Okay, it's very, very important. Again, uh, your, your, you know, uh, uh, sometimes they don't have enough from the food they eat. Sometimes they eat very little, kan? Huh? Sometimes they eat very little. So, you need to supplement them. And again, don't worry about like getting too much of the vitamins because our body has a way, okay, of getting rid of extra vitamins anyway. Nah, dia, dia, you know, keluar daripada urinating, kencingkan saja, ya. Alright. So, another thing is that, okay, I want you to take a look at your uh, urine, okay, your urine level. Are you urinating well? Okay, uh, minum air cukup ke tidak? Terutama sekali pada bulan puasa ni, kita mesti minum 8 hingga 12 gelas sehari. Itu tak termasuk kopi, teh, ataupun segala-galanya, ya. Okay, kena minum 8 hingga 12 gelas sehari. Macam mana kita nak minum macam tu? Kita mesti minum mungkin pagi, okay, bila kita uh, bangun untuk sahur, uh, boleh minum 2, kan? 2 gelas, alright, 2 gelas. Uh, then, selepas itu, bila, uh, bila, bila kita buka puasa, kita boleh minum lagi 2 gelas. Selepas itu nanti kita nak solat kan kita uh, sebelum sebelum kita makan yang lain kita nak solat lah ya eh. uh, selepas buka puasa makan uh, minum air dan makan uh, korma dan nak makan sedikit apa dan selepas itu solat lepas itu kita boleh minum air lagi uh, selepas itu nanti kita boleh kalau boleh kita boleh minum yang satu yang dua liter tu uh, uh, untuk sehari okay kalau boleh itu dia punya kota dia lah. Eh, uh, sampai malam pun kena minum juga ya yeah? okay I have actually um, uh, 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 share on my uh, Dr. Didi Mahmud Facebook, alright, uh, gambar ini ya, eh? the photo of this, alright, and then uh, I said about eating uh, spicy food during Ramadan, can you eat spicy or hot food during when you puasa, 
Yes, you can. But how to eat it? Okay, you scroll down after you watch this uh, video, right? After watch me. After this, you just scroll down. You see this photo. I actually share about how to eat spicy food during Ramadan. So you can actually, uh, you know, uh, follow the steps and all that. And you won't get any any uh, upset stomach. No, a lot of people say, oh, tak boleh makan uh, benda-benda yang pedas kan. Tapi if you want to, you know, like uh, I know some of you like pedas-pedas. Tapi how to eat it without, you know, berak-berak dan sebagainya. So go and take a look at the the, the link, okay. It was a couple of days ago, yeah. And then I also shared a link about how much water to drink and how to drink it during puasa and during when you exercise even. Take a look at that as well. Also on Dr. Didi Mahmoud Facebook, okay. Alright, so again, okay. I want you to take a look at this. Alright, these are the food that immunes the uh, children. Okay, uh, oats. Okay, budak-budak, uh, mereka suka oats, kan? Mereka suka oats. Alright, mereka suka oats, yeah. So, the thing is that, uh, okay, cereals, you know, sometimes cereals are too high in sugar. So, you got to be very, very careful. Okay, energy building food will be things like oats, alright. Now, cereals, you really have to look at whether there's a lot of sugar in it or not. As that's very harmful for uh, for uh, the, for the for children. Okay, too much sugar actually will dampen their uh, thinking skills, alright. So, their memory especially, yeah. Alright, so you see, berries, give them ber berries also. Okay, berries, strawberry, blueberry, all these things are very, very good for people who want to lose weight. And not only that, it has good immunity, uh, you know, uh, qualities in the uh, the fruits. Okay, yogurt as well, uh, garlic again, yeah, and then fruits and vegetables and all that, even coconut water, yeah. Okay, now, aging diseases, yeah, these are aging diseases, kan? Uh, you know, as we grow older, you know, sometimes even, not only uh, aging diseases, you know, sometimes when we don't take, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, take care of our health in terms of exercise, okay, uh, tak cukup tidur, or not enough sleep or rest, and then after that, you don't exercise enough, you don't exercise effectively, and then you don't look after your food, you tend to eat a lot of, you know, one food group, and then the rest you tak makan, right? So remember, I always say, in terms of diet, okay, eat the whole food group, Alright, do not just, okay, if, if anyone were to advise you only eat this only and nothing else, okay, that's very damaging because your body needs the whole food group. Okay, your carbohydrate, your proteins and your uh, good fats, yeah. So, the thing is that uh, sometimes if we don't take care of the food that we eat, we don't exercise enough and we don't have enough rest, sometimes this one, although it's called aging, alright, aging diseases, it will set in early. Some people, even at 20s, even at 30s, they have these diseases and some because... All right, they have, uh, you know, uh, genetically, all right, genetically, uh, you know, sometimes they also have that. Like for me, you know, genetics, my, my family uh, are very rich, okay, uh, in things like heart diseases, uh, diabetes, heart, heart problems, uh, gout, you know, and all that, all right. So, it's just waiting for it to come to me. I'm 55 years old. I'm trying to take care, good care of my health and all that. Uh, so far, I have been, you know, healthy, alhamdulillah. So, I have to still work very hard in keeping my body healthy, you see, through food, to good food, okay, to, uh, to good food, to good rest, to good exercise, you see, so, alright, so again, aging diseases, huh? okay, now I want you to remember, when you have all these diseases, doctor give you medication, very, very important to take your medication, very important, okay, medication controls your uh, masalah penyakit, controls your uh, diseases all right now we don't want if we have diabetes or high blood pressure you don't take medication sometimes it becomes uncontrolled diabetes uncontrolled blood pressure and that is very dangerous sometimes you know when like even i i always uh, give you an example right i always give uh you know the people who exercise with me an example even when you exercise right some people say ah oh, when you exercise no need to take medication that is so so wrong that is so so wrong all right that is so so wrong all right so you must take your medication because you need to control your blood pressure, okay? What happens is this, okay? I'll give you an example. Say I have blood pressure. And then my blood pressure, okay? Say you are resting, right? Right now you are resting, relaxed, watching DD, right? Smiling, kan? Nampak ni semua setengah smile, kan? Okay? Honey, ha, ha, Abdullah, ASC pun tengah-tengah senyum ni, kan? Apa khabar? Salam, kan? Tengah senyum ni. Alright, uh, everybody all tengah senyum kan? Okay, that means your blood pressure quite consistent. Okay, katakan uh, you don't have blood pressure. So, your blood pressure is say, uh, you don't have blood pressure problems lah ya. So, uh, let's say your blood pressure is uh, say maybe 120 over 
uh, say maybe 95 lah ya, eh? katakan. But I have blood pressure, okay? My blood pressure is a little bit high. So maybe I'm I'm at 150 over over 110, alright? Okay, what happens is that I I, I feel, oh, no need to take medication lah. Because if I take medication lah, nanti sampai mati akan makan medication. Tak nak lah, tak mau makan, tak mau makan ubat. Alright, a lot of people, many people I've met, okay? Sometimes they believe that, okay, uh, Okay, if they eat medication, like high blood pressure pills, you know, the doctor give the pills and all, I don't want to eat that one because some, until forever, I will have to depend on the pills. So, what I will do is that I exercise. No, you need to take the medication because it will stabilize. It will stabilize your, uh, your, your blood pressure to a stabilized level. Because if you don't take it, let's say I'm 150, 160, somebody from behind this wall and say, Huh! Okay, dah terpanjat kan? Okay, oh pochut. Okay, so you are, uh, you know, like you, you have... You're shocked. So when you're shocked, what happens? Your, your blood pressure goes up. Right? Your blood pressure goes up. So if your blood pressure goes up, that will be very damaging and that's why sometimes, right, you will have stroke. You know? If, it, if, the, the, blood, if the blood doesn't go to the brain or if the blood doesn't go to the heart, you have heart attack. You see? So again, be very careful. Okay? Take your medication, especially when you are fasting. Okay? So take your medication to control and then after that, Okay, uh, look after your food and then you exercise, okay, to make it better, okay. So, remember, uh, aging diseases, look at this. Ah, but do you know that, although with all these diseases, right, it can be positively modified in seniors through diet, exercise, and your lifestyle, even your, even your, even your sleep, yeah. Okay, so, alright, so remember that. Okay, now glycemic index food, okay? How do we uh, make sure that when we are fasting, okay, we don't get hungry? We don't get hungry, okay? Uh, of course, you know, we will feel some kind of hunger, maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon or something, right? Itu yang paling, uh, you know, mencapa lah kan? Uh, tapi you can actually help your body so that dia, dia, you, you protect it, it doesn't feel hungry so that you can go uh, do your, your, your daily stuff without always thinking about, alamak, bila nak iftar, right? So, what you need to do is eat food, okay, that is under glycemic index, okay, the low glycemic index food, alright. Now, high glycemic index, okay, if you have the white sugar, white sugar is actually 100 glycemic GI, you know, so that one is not good, okay. What happens to that is that if you eat, it will give you a very sugar rush, okay, and then after that, what happens that suddenly you feel very tired, okay. What happens is, you know, your body gives out a lot of insurance, insulin to control the sugar level. And then after you end up very tired. Ah, that one is very damaging to your insulin punya organ tu. Okay, at the end of it, uh, remember, if you notice children, kalau anak-anak, kalau you ma uh, bagi makan, gula-gula. Nanti you tengok, dia lari, lari, lari. They, they, they run around, run around. And then after what, they very tired, right? Okay, that's not very good because it will damage the organs, okay? And when you damage those kind of organs, Okay, you will end up with your diseases, alright? So, you, you have to be very careful. And then, when you end up with diseases and all that, your immunity also goes down. So, you know, your body uh, does not, you know, uh, interact very well with too much sugar or very high uh, GI index food, alright? So, be very careful with that, okay, everybody? Alright, so, okay. So, look at this. Alright, I want you to uh, be uh, very vigilant about eating your zinc and your vitamin, your zinc and vitamin. Alright, uh, eat it together, alright? So, uh, your lean meats, okay? Kalau misalnya nak makan uh, your meat, your red meat, right? Make sure it's lean, tak ada yang putih-putih tu, yang saturated fat dia banyak-banyak, okay? And then after that, your whole grain, you know, these are all zinc quality food. Yeah, when you when you take your zinc quality food, alright? Zinc quality food, okay, it helps in wound healing. Maksudnya, kalau misalnya you ada uh, macam cut, alright? Macam uh, you uh, ada luka, and then after you you will heal better, yeah. So your zinc, and then again vitamin C. This is your fruits and vegetables, yeah. Uh, make sure you know. I I know that some of your household, alright, you will have uh, your fruits and vegetables, okay. Uh, taruk ka atas atas uh, meja, okay. Macam hiasan meja, which is very good. When you see it, you will tend to eat it. Okay, don't uh, don't put it somewhere where you cannot see. It. Sometimes you forget about it, especially during bulan puasa. Kalau you tak uh, makan enough of fruits and vegetables, nanti susah nak buang air. And then when you susah nak buang air, itu yang mendatangkan you know high temperature and stuff like that. So that's not very good. And really, you get sick easily. Yeah. Alright. So remember, 
Okay, lagi satu is that uh, you need to have your iron. Okay, when you have your iron in green vegetables, alright? Okay, uh, ini is actually helping your army. Remember I was telling you just now? The army, your first line of defense. Okay, very important. Your iron is very, very important. You need to have it, okay? Especially things like liver, hati. Macam don't cakap makan hati. Okay, makan hati. Okay, uh, makan hati ni. Jangan makan hati ni. Okay, everyone? Okay, lagi satu is that vitamin E. Okay, yang ini, you know, uh, your antioxidant, you know, dalam banyak-banyak, okay, your your nuts, uh, okay, uh, your nuts lah, kekacang lah, ya. Yeah? And then after that, your uh, uh, sayur-sayuran yang hijau, green leafy vegetables, this one, all protect from oxidative stress, ya. Yeah? Okay, lagi satu vitamin A, benda-benda yang merah, carrot, ya. Yeah? And then after that, red, red bell pepper, kan ada, atau capsicum yang warna merah, kan. Uh, apa apa dia panggil tu? Cili, buah cili yang warna merah tu. Okay, all the all your chilies and all that. Okay, these are all okay regulate our immune response as well. Yeah. Okay, and then after that, vitamin B six. Okay, uh, vitamin B six ni uh, daripada apa tu salmon. Okay, daripada tuna sardin. Ah, jangan hina sardin. Saya suka sardin. Selalunya orang ingat nak makan ikan besar besar saja. Tapi sardin tu uh, actually bagi you banyak banyak uh, apa tu uh, kegunaan banyak kebaikan. Yeah. Alright, so it helps. Uh, apa tu, to collate maksud dia to interact with the different immune system, ok so, kita tak mau, kadang-kadang bila kita makan kita makan, 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 tapi kadang-kadang kita uh, dipanggil micronutrient malnutrition, maksud dia uh, kita tak ada sumber-sumber daripada makanan ini yang memberikan you zinc, vitamin C, vitamin E dan sebagainya, you know, so you Uh, prihatin tentang makanan ini. Ini uh, adalah makanan yang terbaik untuk keluarga, anak-anak terutama, orang-orang tua terutama ya. Okay, so, okay, kadang-kadang kan kita, uh, saya sengaja taruh ini. Ini adalah uh, makanan yang tolong kita uh, supaya kita tak ada bengkak kat kaki. Okay, pembengkakan kat kaki, kadang-kadang uh, organ kita tak berfungsi dengan baik, kadang-kadang... Uh, timbul bengkak dan sebagainya itu adalah uh, apa tu uh, daripada imun yang uh, yang agak rendah eh imuniti ataupun ketahanan tubuh uh, terhadap penyakit yang agak rendah jadi kalau boleh kita makan benda-benda yang ini supaya uh, sakit kaki ada orang sakit kaki kan okey kita makan uh, benda-benda yang ni okey for those of you with joint pain these are very good okey um, uh, food to eat to incorporate into your daily routine you see turmeric kunyit okey indians like to Like to have this not only uh, for for food, right? And then you know sometimes they actually uh, mani kunyit. Kalau nak jadi pengantin, ah, if they want to be brides and all that, they will actually you know uh, put uh, all over their body, you know. So these are really good, um, you know, uh, inflammatory uh, against inflammatory food. Okay, so this is really good. So olive oil again, yeah. Okay, so okay, look at this, everybody. What is 30 gram of fiber look like? Okay, kita nak makan sekurang kurangnya 30 gram fiber, kan? Ha, ini yang macam ni. Kalau apple lah macam ni. Dia 4 gram. Yang ini uh, 3 gram. Kalau apple, okay, kalau macam gini, okay, ini 2 gram. So, maksud dia kalau misalnya nak makan 30 gram tu, you kena makan sekurangnya banyak lah kan. Ha, tapi of course, kita tak makan roti saja lah. Kita makan banyak-banyak benda lah kan eh. We eat a lot of uh, combination of this kind of food. So, this is how 30 gram or uh, this is how uh, we need 30 gram per, per day but then uh, in in the city that, that we eat. But then this is like, you know, uh, half a cup of oats is 9 gram, macam tu kan? Uh, see, so these are all very good fiber food, okay? Alright, everybody. Uh, now you're looking at the nutrition facts, alright? Nutrition, so we we always look at the calories over here, alright? And then after that, we look at the trans fat or saturated fat. Make sure that the uh, fat level is uh, uh, slightly low. Alright, the carbohydrates. So, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Alright, every time when you buy your food. Right, this is good. Okay, uh, total fat, saturated fat, macam mana, sugars. Alright, when they say salt. Okay, when it's high, it's more than 1.5 gram of salt. Alright, per 100 grams like that. Okay, and then health claims. Okay, low fat. Kalau dia cakap low fat tu, kita kena, kena tengok. Okay, contains no more than 3 gram of fat per 100 grams. Okay. Eh? Right, but it's okay. I think in Singapore, especially when you have the triangle HPB logo, I think we are quite safe lah, yeah? Alright, so uh, I think our government is very strict about uh, food safety, you know, about food health and all that. So that's really, really good, yeah? Okay, so again, uh, when we're talking about drinks, you know, you need to drink. Okay, this is how much you sweat. So when you sweat, when you go outside in the hot sun, alright, when you go outside in the hot sun, alright, you sweat. Okay, 0.5 liters to even. 
2.5 liters per hour. Wow, that one is almost like you know what you drink per day, kan? About two and a half uh, liters per day, kan? You see, so so uh, you have to be very careful with that. So you have to hydrate. All right. Now these are your body. This this is what your body needs. Okay, of water, eh? Water. All right, water. Your uh, the water in the body. Uh, macam gini, your muscles need water, your intestines needs water, yeah, alright, so if you don't have enough water in the body, it will affect, you know, uh, the, 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 the functioning of your organs, and remember, in order to have a very good immunity system, we need to have our water sufficient in the body, okay, so everyone, remember, okay, now, for those of you who is actually uh, exercising, Okay, you need to uh, drink your water properly. Of course, you know, right now, whether uh, you can exercise in the in, uh, when you are fasting, yes, you can, but it depends on what kind of exercise. Again, tomorrow at 4.30 p.m., all right, we're going to have an exercise session. Uh, for those of you who's fasting, all right, uh, for those of you who's fasting, I will encourage you to join the exercise session. Don't worry about it being too hard because I will have modifications. I will show you how to do it in Ramadan. Okay, and again, if you do not want to put on weight, you have to exercise. Because if you don't exercise, your body system just go here wire and it's much easier for you to actually put on weight if you don't exercise, right? Because your metabolism goes down, yeah? Alright, so again, uh, this is when you are exercising on normal days or maybe uh, at night when you're exercising, these are the amount of water you, you drink. So again, okay, uh, before you exercise, Alright, again, you need to have lots of uh, water two hours before exercise. Remember the, the bottle, uh, 500, uh, you know, liter of water, milliliter of water, okay? Uh, drink that one two, two, two hours prior to that, and then after, uh, during your exercise, you need to drink and all that, okay? And then after that, after you exercise also, you need, uh, you need to drink one more uh, of that small little bottle, yeah? And then again, alright, when you are stressed out also, when you don't have enough sleep, Alright, when you don't have enough rest, your body goes acidic. Alright, your pH balance in your body, okay, your water balance in your body goes down. And that one will actually interfere. Itu akan me, uh, mengganggu, okay. Kalau misalnya kita stress, okay, kita tak, kadang-kadang uh, bila kita tak cukup tidur. Bila pagi-pagi kita rasa, eh, perut kita macam semacam acid, macam rasa macam pedih gitu kan. Okay, itu kerana pH balance ataupun air eh. Uh, di dalam badan kita dah tak mencukupi kan bila tak mencukupi uh, itulah yang uh, mendatangkan senangnya okey ketahanan tubuh dalam uh, ketahanan um, immunity okey tak ada penyakit dalam tubuh kita akan menurun okey so not very good uh, not very good climate for our body to be in this uh, you know state right so you need to drink water nanti uh, lagi satu ialah nanti saya akan uh, adakan satu uh, perkongsian uh, tentang stress management, okay? Semasa bulan puasa, semasa COVID ni, bila duduk di rumah dan sebagainya, ya. Yeah? So, I will I will do uh, some more sharing with you guys, okay? To help you, uh, you know, to to have the optimal, okay, stress-free, okay? Or rather, uh, teach you how to stress manage uh, your, your daily life, yeah? Okay, now everyone, okay, uh, look at this. Ah, kan? Okay, everyone, I want you to uh, call me, but I think, I don't think you can call me on this number because I'm filming myself on this number. Okay, would you be able to, uh, to, to, uh, okay, uh, would you be able to drop your, your questions here? Alright, drop your questions here and then I will answer you, okay? Uh, maybe next, next week, I'm giving you another phone number for you to call me at, okay? But today, you can't call me at this number because I'm filming you, okay? Alright, now everyone, do you have any question? No Nisa Jumat, apa khabar? I just say hello to you guys, okay? Uh, just say hello to you guys. Alright, uh, Cikgu Nora, Cikgu Nora. Uh, tu dia, okay, uh, everybody. Alright, Siti Zurina, Salam Ramadan, Siti Zurina. Okay, uh, Dr. Eddie, okay. Uh, big screen, not very clear. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me know which one you can see and then after that I will I will actually share it with you here, okay? Anissa, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you everyone for, uh, for, for, for tuning in. Alright, just now we have talked about uh, hygiene. Okay, these are the ways that you can actually increase your immunity, okay? Uh, you, uh, through your hygiene, your diet. 
And then you exercise regularly and effectively. Tomorrow we're going to exercise at 4 30 pm. Don't smoke, okay, because smoking will uh, make your body a bit acidic. So that's a very, uh, you know, a uh, little bit uh, difficult for your body to have a good immunity system, yeah. But of course, if you if you smoke and all that, you need to eat well, you need to exercise well, you need to sleep well, yeah. And then uh, good stress management. Okay, I'm going to give you this one, uh, everybody. Uh, 12 stretches, I know you're very familiar with it. Okay, uh, if you want to uh, take a look at this or later, nanti saya akan share kat bawah tu. Okay, kat bawah. Alright, uh, nanti saya akan share. Nanti uh, look at this. Okay, keep it in your uh, wallpaper. Kat you punya phone. Nanti ini uh, kita akan buat juga setiap kali kita bersenam. Selain daripada senaman-senaman yang lain ya. Okay, lagi satu is that. Okay, uh, everyone. Mm, okay, ini kan does exercise uh, boost your immune system? Of course it does. Alright, of course it does. Saya nak tunjuk yang ini ya, dulu. Okay, tengok ni ya. Okay, ini sebenarnya, okay, adalah J-curve. Alright, this is a J-curve. Okay, this is a relationship between the risk of uh, respiratory tract infection. Yang selalu yang kita takutkan selalu ialah COVID kan, COVID-19. It affects your upper respiratory tract infection kan. Uh, as per upper respiratory tract lah kat, kat sini lah. Uh, dekat mana tu uh, kita punya paru-paru uh, kan kita punya uh, sistem pernafasan dan sebagainya ya yeah? and then this is the amount and intensity of exercise a correlation eh uh, this is called the j curve because it's shaped like a j all right and then after that okay uh, this here suggests that moderate exercise tau okay moderate exercise okay helps you uh, improve your immunity and not high intensity exercise okay when uh, you know, uh, bila you nak increase your immunity level, try to do moderate intensity exercise. The high intensity exercise would actually make you too tired to the point that your immunity goes down. So remember that, okay? But anyway, tomorrow I'm going to guide you through with the exercise as well, yeah? Okay, so, okay, now everybody, okay, remember, okay, just now we, we actually take how nutrition improves our body, immunity system, kan? Alright, tomorrow again. Alright, tomorrow, 4.30pm, alright, be in your exercise gear, okay, put on your shoes, uh, we need dumbbells, we need a chair as well, okay, we need a mat, uh, and then after towel to wipe our sweat, and then, uh, you know, water for those of you who's not fasting, uh, okay, but for uh, those yang fasting, okay, uh, jangan, apa tu, uh, jangan minum air lah kan, iftar uh, baru minum, and exercise is medicine, everybody, alright, remember, okay, if you are taking your medication, Take your medication, okay, uh, do, uh, be regular about taking your medication, blood pressure medication, diabetes medication and sebagainya, alright, and then after that, exercise, exercise is your medicine, uh, you know, medication controls uh, your, your sickness, alright, but exercise is your medicine, it improves your health, and then food is your pharmacy, you want to get better from uh, all this, okay, you need to take good food, alright, and that is all mental, now these three things, right, it's all mental, mental means, it's about motivation kan? Okay, a lot of people cakap, okay, exercise, diorang tahu lah, bagus. Tapi kadang-kadang macam mana eh, Didi nak motivate? Ha, itulah saya di sini akan bagi you mental dia macam mana nak senaman ataupun nak jaga pemakanan dengan lebih baik lagi. Okay, everybody? Okay, so. Okay, everyone. Um, okay, I want you, okay, I'm, I'm going to look at what you're writing to me here. If you have any questions, alright? Okay, um, alright. So, let me see. Okay, I, I will share my slides with you guys, okay? And then, um, okay, Muhammad Zulilmi, Abdul Rahman, very informative, thanks for sharing. Uh, love sharing with you guys. Alright, Yatini, all the Yayit family, hello, Assalamualaikum, selamat berpuasa. Okay, makan apa nanti? <laughs> okay, then after that, uh, Cik Sab, Cik Sab, okay? Uh, Yuli, Yuli is also watching. Uh, Yuli is actually exercising well, yeah? Okay, Noni Sajumat, okay? Uh, many people are with us today. Alright, uh, Julana Abdul Jalil, uh, Julana, apa khabar Julana? Oh, Mamin, oh, Mamin, orang jauh, oh, Mamin, ya. Yeah? Okay, let me see, am I saying uh, all uh, hello to everybody? Okay, um, you know, and then after that, yeah, guys, okay, uh, remember, okay, uh, if you like this, if you like this, okay, if you like this, uh, if you like me sharing uh, with you about all this stuff, let me know if you like it, uh, and then uh, is it helpful to you? Alright, if you have any questions, just drop it down on the 
uh, comment section i will definitely reply you you know that i reply everyone okay and then after that just ask me any questions if you want okay and then uh the thing is okay uh right so uh what i want you to do is uh, drop your questions here i will answer you definitely and then if you think this is really helpful okay please share it on your facebook or on your whatsapp or on your other social media okay because once you share it you know your friends might see it if they see it then you get other people healthy as well and because you know uh, when we are staying at home uh, during pkp in malaysia during cb in singapore and during stay at home everywhere in the world okay we need to keep healthy okay it's always that you know when we stay at home you know sometimes uh, we, we tend to you know tend to be a little bit lazy and all that i know initially you know most of us because a lot of people has been messaging me a lot of us are very very uh, you know motivated uh, and then later on you know the kind of motivation goes down and all that right but don't worry i will share it with you okay tomorrow we're going to have our exercise i will share some more uh, exercise tips with you next week on Thursday and uh, on Wednesday and on Thursday, I will have another session of sharing with you. But I'm going to surprise you, okay? Uh, I'm going to talk about something really exciting, okay? So again, if you enjoy this, please share. And why do I ask you to share? Because once you share it, it will be there on your Facebook and for you to uh, watch at any time you like, right? Because sometimes on my Facebook, sometimes I tend to share a lot of things and then it goes all the way down. So once it goes all the way down, sometimes it disappears and then when you want to find it, you know, you can't find it. So it's such a waste, yeah? So, uh, you know, try to share. The more we share, sharing is caring. Okay, caring is loving. Loving each other, okay? So everybody, okay, when we make one more extra person healthy, we are helping the, the world to make it a healthier, happier place. Okay, everybody? All right, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Okay, uh, I think, I think, uh, can't see, okay? Uh, I think we have to zoom in into my contact. Okay, now this is my contact. All right. Uh, all right. Can you see? Okay, if you can see. If you can't see, it's okay. I will share some of the uh, slides, uh, some of the important slides in the comment section below. Okay, everybody. All right. Uh, so, uh, all right, everybody. Okay, look at me, everyone. Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, spending some time with me. Very valuable time. Okay, I really miss you guys. It feels like you're here with me. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I, I love sharing lots of things with you guys. So, I hope that whatever I share today, okay, will actually help you, okay, in uh, shaping how your family eat. So, again, remember what I say. It's not that Didi says don't eat this, don't eat that. BD says, okay, you have to be wise in the choice of food that you eat so that your whole family becomes healthy as well. Again, okay, if you want to eat your, you know, your your little naughty stuff, that's fine, okay, but must make sure that, okay, you don't eat all naughty stuff lah. Must make sure there's healthier stuff as well, okay. So remember, sedikit sedikit, lama-lama jadi bukit, little bit by little bit, and that will form a habit, okay, and habit takes some time to be formed, right? So keep on doing it, regular, okay, consistency what works okay so remember one happier person that means it's a happier world out there okay i love you guys okay we'll see each other very soon tomorrow 4 30 mwah, 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 mwah.